Hi there. This is a simple variation to the fly in the ointment trap in the Cambridge Springs variation of the Queen's Gambit Declined, and it's called another fly in the ointment. We're going to arrive at the trap position through an irregular sequence of opening moves. D4, and rather than black playing the immediate D5, white can start with the Indian Knight F6, C4 and C6. White develops knight c3, and black strikes and counters at the center with d5, knight f3, and e6. Bishop g5 pins the knight on f6. Knight bd7 develops and supports the pin knight. e3, and now queen a5. So this is the Cambridge Springs variation through a different sequence of opening moves. And there's a recommended maneuver for white to confront the Cambridge Springs, which involves retreating the king's knight back to d2. The idea being that the knight can head for b3 in some variations or can recapture on c4 if black chooses to take on c4 with the knight gaining time hitting the queen. So that retreat knight d2 is actually quite recommended. Black can try now bishop b4, developing, threatening to take on c3, B takes c3, queen takes c3, so the knight's going to be defended by queen c2. Black can castle, and uh, this is a complete blunder now by white. White's next move, bishop d3, that's the losing move, but it involves the same theme in the fly in the ointment trap. After bishop d3, that's a totally losing move, black wins with d takes on c4, because now the queen on a5 is hitting the bishop on g5, as well as the c-pawn hitting the bishop on d3. Even if black trades on f6, bishop takes on f6, black first will capture on d3, hitting the queen. So queen takes on d3 and knight takes on f6, leaves black a clear piece up with a winning position. So this has been another fly in the ointment in the Cambridge Springs variation of the Queen's Gambit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.